Right now, live at 5, Russian forces are pushing closer to Ukraine's capital, where the Ukrainian president remains and says he is a target of Russian forces. Plus... The governor meets with city leaders here at City Hall in Duluth. We tell you more about what they talked about coming up. And later... This is one of the skywalks near Gray Salon Plaza. Duluth city leaders toured today, hoping to find solutions to growing concerns. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS3. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Bakke. Briggs is on assignment. Today, President Biden held a phone call with Ukraine's President Zelensky for more than 30 minutes as enemy forces move closer to the capital. Ukrainian officials are calling on the U.S. and NATO allies to take tougher sanctions against Russia. Natalie Brand reports from Washington. Blast shook Kyiv Friday as Russian forces continue to advance on Ukraine's capital. A senior U.S. defense official says the Russians have been slowed down by a resistant Ukrainian military bolstered by citizen volunteers. But new satellite images show a large deployment of Russian ground troops and helicopters in Belarus near Ukraine's borders. To date, uh, the Ukrainians have been fighting fiercely in many places throughout the country. My sense is they're overwhelming force that the in a matter of days, we could see the capital fall. NATO says it's activating its response force, marking the first time it will be used for collective security. Thousands more U.S. and allied troops make their way to the eastern flanks. There is no doubt about NATO's readiness to protect and defend all allies. There is also mounting pressure to cut off Russia from the international banking system known as SWIFT, with more Western leaders now signaling support. We are uh, looking closely uh, at uh, additional options uh, that may apply uh, appropriate pressure uh, to the Russian Federation, uh, to President Putin. U.S. officials and members of Congress fear that if Putin succeeds in Ukraine, he could set his sights on other former Soviet countries. No one knows for sure exactly where Mr. Putin is going to stop. Um, and he's not telling us. The United Nations Security Council met Friday to vote on a resolution condemning Russia's attack on Ukraine. Natalie Grant, CBS News, Washington. The sports world has also started to take a stand against Russia after its invasion of Ukraine. The Union of European Football Associations pulled its Champions League title game from St. Petersburg. And this morning, Formula One said it has concluded, quote, it is impossible to hold the Russian Grand Prix in the current circumstances. The President and First Lady will be making a stop in the Northland. President Joe Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden will visit Superior on Wednesday, March 2nd. They plan to discuss the bipartisan infrastructure law and the benefits they say it will bring to the community and the state. Wisconsin Republicans opposed the law. Senator Ron Johnson and Representative Tom Tiffany both voted against it. CBS3 will bring you live coverage of the president's visit both on air and online. We still don't know what time or where in Superior the, the Bidens will visit, but we'll bring you more details as we get them. Minnesota's governor stopped in Duluth today hearing from city leaders about what they need to keep our community safe. It was part of Governor Tim Walz's statewide public safety tour touting his $300 million proposal. He held a roundtable discussion at City Hall, hearing from Duluth's police chief, fire chief, and Mayor Emily Larson. They told Walls they need funding for things like mental health services, better infrastructure, and upgraded technology. Walls says under the proposal, Duluth would see about $1.5 million each year, an investment he says is well worth it. Our public safety professionals are the folks we need to be listening to. When it's going right and they're listening to the community and the data supports here in Duluth is listening to folks and hearing them say this is the type of thing you need to do. The governor's $300 million proposal isn't final and still needs to make it through the state legislature. We'll hear more about what Duluth's public safety leaders are asking for coming up at 6. It's been a cold winter, and that's resulted in an increased number of people using downtown Duluth's Skywalk system. Another result, an increase of safety concerns. CBS3's Kendall Jarbo joined city leaders on a walk through the area to determine what needs to be done. 
This is one of the skywalks near Gray Salon Plaza. Duluth City leaders toured today, hoping to find solutions to growing concerns. With the recent cold snap, more people have been using the skywalk system to get around downtown. That's led to an increase in safety concerns, including people sleeping in the skywalk and littering, which led to the closure of the skywalk between Gray Salon Plaza and the parking ramp when there's not an event going on. That's why Mayor Emily Larson, city councilors, and members of the Greater Downtown Council are trying to get a better sense of what skywalk activity is like. Folks sleeping in the skywalk, um, really, uh, um, you know, just a lot of hygiene issues in our skywalk in our downtown area. Um, so we're really trying to find some solutions for it. One solution is equipping the clean and safe team with tools they need to keep the skywalk secure. Larson says there's a growing number of people disconnected from services that can support them. She wants everyone, including business owners, staff and customers to feel safe. Make sure that every resident in the city of Duluth feels safe whether they're working or living downtown, whether they're sheltered or unsheltered. One possible solution discussed is whether the county can play a stronger role in skywalk safety, a conversation city leaders will continue to have. The purpose of today's tour was mostly to brainstorm ideas the council can put into action in the coming months. Thank you, Kendall. Greater Downtown Council President Christy Stokes says it hasn't been decided when they'll reopen the skywalk between Graceland and the parking garage or what the threshold for that is. But they plan to review the decision in a few weeks. Duluth police are remembering their beloved canine who died in the line of duty a year ago today. Canine Luna was shot and killed during a more than 20-hour police standoff. It happened in the Lincoln Park neighborhood. Police originally responded to a domestic violence call in the area, but the suspect refused to surrender. So, police sent in canine Luna, but the suspect fired a gun, killing her. Hours later, authorities eventually shot the suspect who died at the scene. Law enforcement officers who fired their weapons were cleared of any wrongdoing. Canine Luna had been with the department for two years at the time. Police say they will always remember her for her ultimate sacrifice. The list to fill a vacant Duluth City Council seat has been narrowed down to three candidates. Last night, councillors interviewed the 25 people vying to fill the seat left by former councillor Derek Medved. After going through the list of candidates, three are moving on to the final round of interviews. They include Noah Hobbs, Jenna Yakel, and Justin Davis. The council will meet with the top three candidates again on Monday at 5 p.m. That's when they plan to decide who will fill the vacant seat. Dave is here now for a quick look at the weather. Dave, boy, another chilly one overnight. Yeah, it was the sequel to the night before, <laughs> if we put it into movie terms. It was cold this morning. Take a look at northern Minnesota. 40 below again for International Falls. 36 below Ely. 33 below Hibbing Chisholm. 35 degrees below zero for Big Fork and Grand Rapids in the mid-20s below was brisk as well. 16 below up over the hill here in the Twin Ports. And 13 below for Hayward but one above in Ironwood. Folks in Ironwood leading the charge to a warm-up, and that's what's coming our way. And it's a double-edged sword there, that high-pressure system that's now down to our south. As it plowed across the border, it drug Canadian air into our region, sent us into the deep freeze. But by tomorrow morning, when it's to our south, its reverse flow will bring a southwesterly wind into the area, and it's going to warm up very, very nicely in conjunction with a warm front from the west. So what I'm talking about here is a milder night tonight. Zero rather than 40 below. Partly cloudy sky. Tomorrow the high makes it sunny like highs like to do, but the bottom half of the high will make us go to 29 degrees. And almost 28 will be warmer than normal technically. Will it stay that way though for Sunday? I'll show you with my seven day in just a bit. That looks wonderful. Thank you, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, it's Friday, which means it's almost time to hit the snowmobile trails. We've got trail reports from across the Northland coming up in Trail by Trail. For a limited time at Home Sleep Express, get a king-size mattress for the price of a queen. This Luxuria King mattress is now just $5.99, plus six-year special financing with no money down and no minimum purchase. King for the price of a queen at Home Sleep Express. Hello, Jim Peralt from Jim Peralt Construction here with our roof ice removal crew using our Arctic steamer. Forget using ice picks, hatchets, hammers, or salt. 
that can damage your roof and home. We can safely remove ice from roofs and gutters using steam. By removing the ice, we will be protecting your home from water infiltration due to ice backup and the excessive weight of snow and ice on your eaves. Call us at Jim Peral Construction, 723-8477 to have our crew come out and take the snow and ice off of your roof. We had to kind of go back to the drawing board of who's on board with just brainstorming what else we can do to build school community. Now it's constant. We just can't stop. We can't turn it off. You know, you can make the best out of any situation. I want my students to take with them the love of the language, the love of acceptance of being who they are and who they can be. When news breaks, be the first to know with CBS3. Alerting you with our mobile app, taking you live to the scene. Bringing you complete coverage we on air. Inside the deck. Showing you what's happening now, what's next, how it affects you. Focused on urgency. Focused on accuracy. When news breaks in your neighborhood, be the first to know. With live, local, CBS3. Stay connected to live local CBS3. Check out our exclusive content on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as our mobile app, and join the conversation on today's big stories. Now, for a limited time at Home Furniture, you can get a king-sized bedroom suite for the price of a queen. Like this king bedroom suite, now just $21.49. Plus, six-year special financing with no money down and no minimum purchase. King comfort, queen price at Home Furniture. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Hayward at the American Berkebiner International Bridge tonight. It is a little quiet out there right now, but tomorrow morning things will ramp up for the 48th annual American Berkebiner. Dave will be in with this weekend's forecast in just a few minutes, but first, let's take a look around the region. From Barnes to Eveleth, we've got what you need to know before enjoying the new snowpack as we take you around the Northland trail by trail. We start things off in Barnes, Wisconsin tonight with a report from the Barnstormers. The area received between 12 and 15 inches of new snow this week and they have been out packing during the storm and since. They will continue growing throughout the weekend but say the trails will be in great conditions. They do warn, however, with all the deep snow to expect some moguls in heavily traveled areas. The club added, all are welcome in Barnes, so come spend a little time there. Next, we head over to Sawyer County, where they are reminding folks of some travel impacts because of the Berkey this weekend. The Sawyer County Snowmobile Alliance is not advising any travel in the town of Hayward unless it's for lodging. They have made some reroutes, but it is likely that how you travel into town is the route you'll have to take to get out. Lake Hayward, Railroad Street, a.k.a. Trail 31, Main Street, and other surrounding roads are all closed. This travel warning is just for today and tomorrow. And we'll wrap up in Eveleth tonight with another report from the Trailhawks. They say all that fresh snow is groomed and smooth for weekend riders. Additionally, they'd really like to invite people out to their vintage snowmobile ride this Saturday. Ride sign-up begins at 10 a.m. at Timber's Edge, and at noon, participants will take off on a seven-mile cruise over to the club's shelter. And as always, we will have more information on all of today's clubs on our website. If you or someone you know is part of a local snowmobile alliance, send us your trail report, and it might be featured as we go around the Northland trail by trail. Still to come on Live at 5, as we mentioned, the Berkey is back in Hayward this year. Hear from a local business on how sales are booming with the return of fans. Best wishes this weekend to everybody involved in the Berkey. And if you're going to heed the trail reports and hit the trails, good luck riding there too uh, this weekend. I hope to get some new crank seals in my old vintage snowmobile because it's going to be warm enough to work outside without freezing your hands to the metal. A warm-up is coming our way at least for Saturday. Will it last for Sunday? I'll show you my theories on that coming up after our break.
Stay connected to live local CBS3. Check out our exclusive content on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as our mobile app, and join the conversation on today's big stories. At Bath Planet, our bathrooms are maintenance-free, made in the USA, and professionally installed by our certified installers to ensure your job will be done right the first time. For the month of February, we are offering no interest, no payments, and nothing down until 2023. We are also giving you 50% off all labor. Our products are backed by the Good Housekeeping Seal of Approval, so give us a call or go online to book your appointment today. Bath Planet, out of this world service, down to earth price. It's time to spread game. The Harlem Globetrotters are coming with an all new tour. Four quarters of big plays, ankle breaking moves, and ball handling wizardry. Do they dunk? Do they dunk? See the stars rattle the rim in the all new in game dunk contest. This is the team everyone can cheer for. The spread game tour is coming. Don't miss the Globetrotters in Duluth on March 19th. Go to HarlemGlobetrotters.com. In the Northland, we know how to make the most of the cold winters. Still, some things are out of our control, like cracked windshield wipers, deflated tires, or even dead batteries. Luckily, your Northland Ford dealers have your back. Throughout the month of February, we're including a premium maintenance plan with the purchase of most new Ford vehicles. We'll cover any routine maintenance needs for the first three years or 30,000 miles at no added cost. So shop, buy, and drive with confidence, no matter the forecast, because your Northland Ford dealers have your back. Stay connected to live local CBS3. Check out our exclusive content on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as our mobile app, and join the conversation on today's big stories. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. The CBS3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Ah, oh, it's time to take a look at weather headlines, and they're bright and cheery, if you ask me. Tonight, not as cold. It was down towards 40 below again this morning in International Falls. Many of us, though, will get towards zero, an improvement to 40 degrees. That should be all right. For the weekend, near normal temperatures, more so on Saturday. Saturday will be in the upper 20s. Sunday will drop to 20 straight up, which is still like 10 degrees cooler than normal if we push it a little bit, but sure, it's closer to normal than it's been for the last week at least. Come Monday, a little more light snow is possible, but the latest charts do indicate light snow rather than three feet, like last Monday. So things are getting brighter. Even the sky. Take a look at this gorgeous picture here behind the graphics of downtown Duluth and the aerial lift bridge. Just beautiful conditions brought on by Arctic high pressure. It initially chilled us down. It's still giving us sunshine and will do so through the weekend. But its reverse flow tomorrow is going to perk things up and make things warmer. Westerly southwesterly wind is with us now and it'll double its speed to 20 miles per hour tomorrow. That'll be pumping in the heat as the backside of the high starts to bring warmth up from the south rather than dragging down cold from the north. Let's get a look at current temperatures here, which are positive. Teens above zero for northern Minnesota. Almost 20 down towards Moose Lake up the North Shore. Similar conditions. As cool as 10 up the Gunfoon, but even that's not so bad. Upper teens for the Upper Peninsula and 17 to 19 in northwestern Wisconsin, including an 18 coming in from those fine folks in Superior. Tomorrow, yeah, I think the range of high temps will be 26 to 32. Sunday, a little bit cooler, but still above zero, even for the low temperatures. Tonight's low temperatures could dip below a little bit towards northern Minnesota, maybe 5 below. But boy, that's, again, a lot warmer than 40 below. Here's that cell of high pressure then that came in from Canada. Dropped our temperatures this morning, brought sunshine this afternoon. There is a low pressure system off towards the west. That's the one that could bring us a chance for light snow on Monday. But in between, I think we're going to be looking for a clear sky more than anything else. Clouds tried to form up a little bit here today, but they've been put down by the sinking air of the high pressure cell. And again, that's a trend that could be with us all the way through our Sunday. So high pressure to the south brings in warm conditions for the weekend, and that's backed up by a warm front. So it's going to be warm on Saturday with a good dose of sunshine. Into Sunday, it starts to cloud up a little bit as that low from the west gets closer to us, but the snow chance likely will hold off until Monday. And right now it looks to be only a 30% chance, and the latest charts indicate it might bring a trace to two inches. 
instead of 10 to 20 or even 30. So and things are getting a little bit more mellow around here. Tonight, Minnesota low temps, 4 above by the lake, 5 below inland, partly cloudy sky up on top into Wisconsin and Michigan. Lows there, 0 to 2 above with a partly cloudy sky. And then tomorrow, sunny sky for Wisconsin and Michigan. High temps in the low 30s. Minnesota temperatures will run a bit of a wider range, 26 in Ely to 31 towards Barnum. But sunshine and a southwest wind up to 20 miles per hour. The extended forecast shows for the week ahead, highs will stay in the positive 20s. Low temperatures in the single digits above zero. We get that 30% chance for maybe an inch or two of snow on Monday, Kristen. Then another round of precip could be with us Thursday in the form of flurries. And perhaps a rain-snow mix next Friday. Still looking at that chance that we first talked about last night, but still just a 30% shot. So we'll track the system, of course, as it takes its sweet time a whole week. Yeah. getting to us. Well, I want to focus on the weekend because I think that proves hard work pays off. We made it through the, the big snowstorm. <laughs> we made it through the cold and now we can enjoy uh, the outdoors. Mm -hmm. We always look at it that way, don't we? Yes, we have to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Nearly 40,000 people are gathering this week in Hayward for the annual American Berkebiner. Skiers in the 50K Skate Ski and the 55K Classic Race will hit the trails bright and early tomorrow morning. But early races and events have been bringing competitors and spectators alike into the Northwoods, Wisconsin town all weekend. Officials with the Berkey say the economic impact from all of those visitors on a small town like Hayward can be felt by virtually every business in the area. You know, at the end of the day, we often talk about the dollar spent by a tourist in our community gets spent seven times, right? If it goes to the gas station or it goes to a local shop, they then spend it with another vendor, another uh, local um, retailer. Officials with the Berkey Ski Foundation say more than 90% of their income comes from people living more than 50 miles away. But 85% of that money gets spent within 50 miles of Hayward. One local business even opens up for a few days during their off-season just to serve the mass of people in town for the Berkey. The Saturday of Berkey is always really busy in here and uh, that alone makes it worth opening for the three or four days that we open up for Berkey. Workers at Sundays with Annabelle and Charlotte say even though they're selling ice cream in the middle of winter, they often have people lined up out the door on the Saturday of Berkey week. We will have continuing coverage of this year's Berkebiner races and events this weekend right here on CBS3. The 13th annual Duluth Women's Expo is this Saturday at the deck. More than 130 vendors will be on site featuring options to shop, sample, learn about wellness, check out the craft market and more. There will also be presentations throughout the day and live music. This year, organizers will also be hosting a health and hygiene drive that will be collecting donations for Safe Haven. The expo will run from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Admission is $5. Still to come, one North Shore Playhouse is celebrating 50 years. And despite the pandemic, the show carries on. How they are celebrating next. Stretch your dollar with 11% off everything at Menards. Update your bathroom and choose from over 1,000 max shower kits, shower doors, and bathtubs. Compliment your style with this orchestra freestanding bathtub. All max products are now 11% off. Complete your bathroom update with a new bath fan from Broen. We carry a great selection to choose from. Save today with 11% off all Broen bath fans at Menards. Save big money at Menards. A great smile is so much more than just a physical attribute. It's a part of every laugh, adventure, milestone, and connection. At Lake Dental, our team is committed to getting to know you and your specific dental needs. With our IV sedation, forget any dental anxiety and wake up with a new smile. Express yourself confidently with the help of Lake Dental, where artistry is in every smile. Call Lake Dental today for your free smile analysis. 
Tired of the cold? Then shop for your next vehicle during Kerry Toyota's annual indoor used car sale. We're filling the showroom with used vehicles and slashing prices. Every eligible used vehicle at Kerry Toyota comes with a Carfax quality inspection report and manufacturer powertrain warranty. Plus, with your used car purchase, receive a Kerry Toyota gift pack valued over $300. Hurry to experience the quality difference during Kerry Toyota's annual indoor used car sale. Voted best car dealer 22 times. Do you listen to the TV on high volume or have trouble hearing conversations? Then you would benefit from hearing aids. Don't waste thousands on expensive hearing aids when you can get Nano's revolutionary technology for just $297. Don't be fooled by higher priced hearing aids. The CIC Recharge is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier. With rechargeable technology many customers say is superior to more expensive models. Call now and get not one, but two Nano hearing aids for just $297. $97. Plus, we'll add a portable charging case and ship your order absolutely free. The CIC Recharge has a tiny in-the-ear canal design that is nearly invisible. Why keep missing out on important conversations or waste thousands of dollars? Call and get two CIC Recharge hearing aids for only $297 and free shipping. 800-758-1647. Again, that's 800-758-1647. I'm Nora O'Donnell in our nation's capital. We're here at the White House with the President of the United States. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. The Supreme Court building behind me is once again at the center of a monumental battle. Tonight, a congressional investigation sparked by reporting from CBS News. Our exclusive access to the presidential platform. We will witness yet another moment in history. The CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell from Washington, D.C. Cancer research requires bold and innovative thinking. You may be able to help science uncover the next breakthrough by sharing your patient data and unique experience with researchers. Join Stand Up to Cancer and count me in at standuptocancer.org slash count me in. Get your news on the go. The CBS 3 mobile app. The Grand Marais Playhouse is kicking off its 50th season tonight with an evening of 10-minute plays. The night will feature seven shorts ranging from heartfelt to funny stories. Playhouse leaders say it's exciting to celebrate and reflect on the organization's history in light of this monumental season. From the first productions in the 70s to getting through the pandemic, they credit the Playhouse's tenacity to the sense of community local arts organizations have created in Grand Marais. And right. Culture, yeah. The Grammar Playhouse is very a local uh, organization. We we work with local actors and 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 community members that do the painting, the costuming, the set building, all of that. And so it's really about the people who live here and what we do as a recreational activity. The shows run tonight and tomorrow night. You can find a full calendar of this year's anniversary season on the Playhouse's website. That includes a reunion performance of Little Shop of Horrors this summer. Next week, we'll bring you a full story on the history of the Grand Marais Playhouse and what its leaders hope the future has in store. Well, speaking of Little Shop of Horrors, the College of St. Scholastica is right in the middle of their performances of the show. The return comes after they were forced to cancel their fall show after only one performance because of COVID. Opening night was last night, but the show will run all this weekend and next. They'll have evening shows Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, and matinee shows on Sundays. On this Friday night, an historic day here in Washington, President Biden nominates the first black woman, Judge Ketanji Brown-Jackson, for the U.S. Supreme Court. Plus, there's breaking news on masks, what the CDC is saying tonight about why you may not have to wear that mask anymore indoors. And there's stunning news as European leaders agree to personally punish Vladimir Putin. All that and more coming up on the CBS Evening News. CBS 3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health St. Mary's Heart and Vascular Center. Visit EssentiaHealth.org forward slash my heart to take our free online heart health risk assessment. I'm telling you, you should open a business. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to begin. I've got an idea. I hope you like it. I love it. Just one question. Mm -hmm. What's that? It's a chair. New plan. You make the furniture, I make the ideas, NBC makes them happen. That was always the plan. 
Bring us your best ideas. National Bank of Commerce. We make more possible. Thursdays are hot at Fond du Luth Casino with $2,000 in hot seat drawings. Two hot seat winners of $200 chosen randomly every hour from 5 p.m. through 9 p.m. Be actively playing your favorite machine at the time of a drawing and you could be selected to win $200 in cash. Stop by the Players Club or log on to FondaLuthCasino.com for all the participation details. $2,000 in hot seat drawings every Thursday are another way to... Have a great time out at Fond du Luth. Calling all Bulldogs. Do you consider yourself a diehard UMD Bulldog fan? Send a picture of you or you and your crew all decked out in your Bulldog attire for a chance to be the My9 Sports Bulldog Fan of the Week. Follow the My9 Sports Facebook page and post your pictures there to be entered into our weekly random drawings. Each fan of the week will be showcased in our My9 Sports UMD Athletics broadcast of the week. The My9 Sports Bulldog Fan of the Week is brought to you by the Duluth Tap Exchange. Mining. It's a part of Minnesota's history that affects everyone in the Northland still to this day. Join me, Kristen Bakke, every Tuesday for Eye on Mining. Brought to you by Range Regional Airport. Watch Eye on Mining with Kristen Bakke every Tuesday at 10. Only on live local CBS3. Stay connected to live local CBS3. Check out our exclusive content on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as our mobile app. And join the conversation on today's big story. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this Friday evening. Let's take a look back at today's top story and see what's coming up at 6. Tonight at 5, we heard from Duluth City officials about recent concerns regarding the safety of the city's skywalk system. Recently, the Greater Downtown Council decided to close a portion of the skywalk between Graceland and a nearby parking garage. Today's meeting was just a brainstorming meeting, and the city plans to bring in the county to discuss further solutions. And tonight at 6, back to the championship. The Proctor Hermantown Mirage Girls hockey team won an incredible third period comeback game over Orono to seal their date at state. We've got those highlights and much more on all of today's playoff games tonight. That's your news at 5. The CBS Evening News is next. We'll see you back here at 6.